Hi everyone, let's make chicken souvlaki. This recipe will serve four to six people. We're going to start off with 12 chicken thighs or four chicken breasts cut into two inch cubes. For the marinade, you're going to need four tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of dried mint, two teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and the zest and juice of one lemon. Four cloves of garlic minced. Give it a good mix, cover it up and place it in the fridge for two hours. Before we do anything else, we're going to soak our bamboo sticks in water for 20 minutes. This prevents the sticks from burning while we cook them. Now we're just going to thread the chicken onto the skewers with a maximum of three to four pieces per stick so that they cook from the inside. Place your grill on a high heat, then add one teaspoon of oil, vegetable oil will do, olive oil or avocado oil will burn, so try to avoid those. Place your chicken onto the grill and cook on a high heat for two to three minutes until you get those scorch marks and then turn them over and cook them on the other side. Cook your chicken skewers for six to eight minutes, but be careful not to overcook them and dry them out. Guys, I'm trying to reach 200 likes on this video, so don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what you see, let us know in the comments down below. Now on to the bread. For the bread, you're going to need 150 milliliters of warm water. The water should be around 40 to 46 degrees Celsius. And to that, we're going to add seven grams of instant yeast and one teaspoon of sugar. Just give that a good mix and set it aside for five minutes until the yeast has bloomed. To make the bread, you're going to need 500 grams of flour. This makes four to six wraps. You can use white or whole grain flour. To that, we're just going to add the yeast mixture and two teaspoons of olive oil.
Give that a good mix and then transfer it onto your countertop. Knead it really well for about six to eight minutes until you get a smooth dough. I love how easy this dough is. It comes together really quickly and you just need to put it to rest for about an hour and that's it and you'll get really nice flatbreads. Just leave the dough to rest in a warm place for about an hour and then we'll come back and roll it. After resting, the dough would have doubled in size. Just remove it from the bowl, place it onto a floured work surface and just work it through one time. After that, we're just going to cut it into four to six equal pieces, depending on how big you want your flatbreads to be. Roll each dough ball into an 8 to 10 inch circle. Cook it on a high heat until golden pockets form. Just turn them over a couple times until well cooked. When cooking these, the flatbreads tend to fill with hot air, so be very careful of the steam. Look how easy it is to make your own flatbread at home. I doubt you'll ever go to the shops to buy them again. Just look at those golden marks on the flatbreads. The smell in the kitchen is just amazing. Serve the chicken sivlaki with tzatziki, onions, tomatoes and fries. The recipe for the tzatziki is in the description box below. Thank you for watching everyone. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!